What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Swayze and I'm back with another 2K21 build video. Now, uh, recently I've been streaming quite a bit. Um, if you guys haven't turned on your post notifications, then please make sure you do so you can check out the streams because they're really funny. But um, yeah, today we're bringing out a 2K21 ISO build now. There's been a lot of builds being released on 2K21 from YouTubers and I feel like this is probably the best ISO build in my opinion. I'll give you guys my reasons as to why. But um, yeah, so we're going to go point guard and we're going to go with the all yellow pie chart. Now this pie chart I had in 2K20 and it is a very good pie chart man, it's a very good pie chart. The only problem is, is that they nerfed it a lot as in like you don't get contact dunks anymore. Um, but you know we can we can live without contact dunks to be honest because this build still does get pop dunks and if you're open then you should be able to pop dunk every single time so it's alright. But yeah, we are um, upgrading our dunk layup and close shot so we're maxing that out so we get six finishing. We max out uh, mid range three point and free throw so we get twelve shooting. Uh, max out the pass accuracy and ball handling so we get twenty nine and then we get eight defensive badges. I feel like this is the best badge layout. Um, it is an ISO build, like I said. So you need to be able to do everything, okay, guys? You need to be able to defend, shoot, dunk, do everything possible, all right? So uh, this is an alternative way of doing it. You can get extra shooting badges by lowering the playmaking. If you don't feel like you need 29 playmaking, you can always lower the pass accuracy and then put it on shooting or whatever you want. But the body type now, now it's up completely up to you to choose anything you want but i went with compact because it's just the easiest one i feel like it's the best body type as well now a lot of people choose six seven here okay guys i don't know why people choose six seven in my opinion the driver layup drops down by nine the shooting gets a lot worse because if you want to do what i want to do the wingspan then your shooting becomes a lot worse and you can't shoot under 73 point apparently according to mike wang so I went with six foot six, 180 pounds. So you can still see how quick I am. And I went with max wingspan. Now, max wingspan gives me that extra drive and dunk. It lowers my three pointer down a bit and my ball handling down a bit, but the defending goes up a lot and uh, the drive and dunk goes up as well, which is important. Now I still have a 71 three pointer, which means I can still shoot consistently. Obviously, it depends on Mike Wang, it depends on, on the game, if we can shoot or not with a 71 three-pointer. But even if I can't, at 99, I'm still going to get a 75 three-pointer, which is good enough. Okay, And as you can see, it's a slashing playmaker, but it's more or less a playmaker than a slashing playmaker because I wouldn't be able to dunk anyway um, over people. So, yeah, so we're going to test the build at 99. I'm not going to uh, show any gameplay because I feel like I want to do that in another video uh, because I want to do a bit of a dribble tutorial um, but as you can see you get six, fini uh, six finishing badges you can choose what you want I went with three silver badges but obviously it depends on how you know how the badges work in the, in the next gen I don't know how it's going to work so this off 2k20 knowledge as I said this uh, this all these all these badge videos are all um, to do with my TK20 knowledge. So as you can see here, we went for green machine range, hot zone gold, dead eye silver, and volume shooter on bronze. Uh, nine, 29 playmaking. So we went with uh, quick first step, we went with handles for days, space creator, slob C passer, bailout, ankle breaker. Uh, we have nine left, we went with floor general, of course. Um, and then I think we put on unpluckable on silver but obviously it depends because we might need that hall of fame it depends on how, if they buff it or not um and then dimer hall of fame bailout bronze you can go with downhill hall of fame you can even go with tight handles hall of fame or even you can go with flashy pass or hall of fame to get your player making takeover quicker but me personally i'll just go with dimer help out my teammates my teammates uh will be greener a lot more with that and then eight defensive badges i feel like this perfect amount of defensive badges uh, for non-defensive build as you can see here uh, pick dodger silver intimidate gold and clamps gold and yeah guys that is the video there if you guys want some gameplay then please leave a like and comment um, and i am out of here peace